Hello everybody and welcome back to Stellaris where we are currently cruising on forward here on fastest speed. Let me just get that cranked up there. And of course we are working on dealing with the contingency. Now we cannot attack here. We can't attack here yet either. We have to wait for this force to leave for sure. And maybe just wait for reinforcements. One or the other. We'll see. For the time being, I would like to go through our jobs real quick and just see if there's anything to be done here. Actually, yes, there is. On this mining station, we can certainly upgrade our mineral purification hub. And then we could go for, like, a cider revitalization center. Sure. That's reasonably fine. On this unification station, there's nothing to be done. We just need to wait for a demotion. And here we could upgrade this civilian fabricator, I suppose. Cool. Cool. So that looks to be about it for now. Now, I want to keep an eye on this contingency fleet here. Cool. They're heading up to the Hyper Relay, which is exactly what we expected them to do. Wait a second. What's this fleet doing? They're going back into their original location. So that means that we can come up here real quickly. The contingency attempted to infiltrate us. We got lucky. I'm going to, let's see, they went up into Bitrius. The Tebadoran Corporation, I think, will not quite win that. They'll do some damage. Okay, I want to unforbid Hezar at this point. Now I want to take these guys, and we want to go straight in. So we're going to jump in. I don't know if we're going to get there before these guys leave or not. Either way is relatively okay. Okay, so they leave. That's fine. We're actually kind of good. We're, we're kind of happy engaged. with that. That's pretty good. So we're going to pop in over here, and we are going to attack here. We'd have some reinforcements on the way. Lost. And that's looking good. So we'll take out this station without any real problem. And then we'll check in on this status up here. As soon as we have these Caravaneers, huh? We will take the consumer goods and we'll build them for our services. Beautiful. So at this point, do we want edicts on? I think that it's Sweet not necessary. Yeah, we're going to take some ship losses here. These are mostly Federation ships, though, which seems okay. We're having a bit of a hard time getting through their shields, aren't we? That's interesting, considering the sheer amount of ballistic firepower we're throwing at this. Fascinating. We're having a really hard time getting through their shields. Wow. 220,000. Okay. Now we're through their shields, and we're, we're working on armor. Ah, okay. This is what happened. This fleet actually came back in. So at this point, I do want to turn our edicts back on. So we're going to do, of course, shield boost, volatile ammunition, explosives, blah, 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 all of that. Fantastic. For now, that'll do. And we are currently working on eliminating that fleet. It retreats, and now we're going back to the station. Excellent. So that's what ended up delaying us. That makes more sense. So we're going to chip, we're going to chip through this armor very, very quickly. There we go. And now we're on hull, and we'll do very good damage against hull. No problem. Fantastic. So that's out of here. And it looks like we actually did win in Bitrius. The Republic of Hifnis came through up here. Cool. For now, we're in no position to attack here. That's for sure. We're going to get into position to do so. But we're going to want to bring in reinforcements. There's no doubt about that. So let's just reinforce that fleet there. And so much for our alloys. No shocker there. And we'll just let these forces come on in here. We need a lot of alloys, right? We should turn our edicts back off for the moment while I'm thinking about it. There's no point in wasting all of that. What is the price on alloys right now? 19.92? It's better than it has been, but it's certainly not what I would characterize as good. Yeah, 43,488 for 2,500 alloys. That's not good. So we'll certainly hold off on buying alloys, I think. 
Now, what does this say we need? 141,000. I don't think that's accurate. We'll reinforce that. But it's likely that that's being caused by shortages. It's probably more than that. We know that that number is not amazingly inaccurate. Not amazingly accurate, actually. It is amazingly inaccurate. There we go. So, apparently we found a synth infiltrator. No shockers there. Potential spaceborne resource encountered. So the next question here is, when will we be capable of attacking here? We know their shields are tough. And we know that this is roughly, I'm going to estimate we'll need a million in strength in order to attack that. How are things going in the other hubs? Nothing really happening up here. The other hub was down this way, I think. Did it get eliminated? I no longer see the hub. It looks like all of the enemy forces came down here. And have, uh, okay, yeah. They are very, very much working on that sterilization hub. So both federations are focused here right now. How are things going over this way? Not much going on over there either. Okay, cool. So this appears to be reasonably fine, but we need to remember it's mostly just us focusing on this hub. We don't need to be focused on the other hub. Uh, let's Research continue to channels. reinforce these as we get alloys in. Starbase capacity plus one, sure. That's reasonably fine. What was... Oh, that was our reinforcements in transit. Okay. So I'm looking at this here. They have another cluster that came out here. They have re retreated this cluster. So for the moment, we certainly can't attack this, right? There's no way. At this juncture, that is not attackable by this force. We definitely need to continue to work on that. The price of alloys is continuing to jump back up, which isn't shocking. That is not shocking in the slightest. We're just going to continue to work on this. Now we should be running out of... We should be running out of dark matter reasonably soon. How much do we have? We have 101. Okay, that's pretty decent. That'll keep us afloat for a couple of months. But not that many months. We're chipping through that dark matter very quickly. So we're at 105 here. We just got our month tick and we are at 87. Yeah. We're going to be through that in a few months. So that's painful. That is certainly painful. But we are replenishing our forces here. By no means are we prepared to attack. But we can continue to keep them pinned into this system. They can't really move out because they will never move this fleet away from their sterilization hub. So that's reasonably fine for the moment. We're just going to continue to pump alloys into our fleets. And that looks good. Let's check through jobs again real quick here. Yeah, this just needs demotions. So that's reasonably fine. And I wanted to check in on some of our military fleets here. Now, not all of these are currently... These should all be grouped into the 4FAM Starfleet. There we go. The planned and the rigged swarm can both come join us now at this point, I think. The Preservative Swarm is still only at one singular Corvette. This needs some work. So I think that we're not going to bring that down. The Rigged Swarm as well arguably really shouldn't be. It's still at 20 ships. So I think that the Rigged Swarm should be remaining at the Mega Shipyard. Along with the Preservative Swarm. However, I think that the Forfan Starfleet ships here, as well as the Planned Swarm, can certainly move down. The Planned Swarm has most of its Corvettes at this point, so that's looking good. We'll continue to work our way through this fleet management queue here. So we're working from the top down, right? Uh, we have our Titan almost built here, so the Arranged Swarm should be done. The Planned, or the Primed Swarm here, probably it has a Titan. We're building a cruiser here. So I'm guessing we don't actually need to build anything else here for this fleet. Maybe we do. The Vigilant Swarm, I believe, is at full strength. The Planned Swarm, 
we have that Titan queued there, so that's looking good. The Set Swarm... We are good on our Corvettes here, I think. And that Titan is pre-built. Since Detection Method. Yeah, we should work on that. So we're going to immediately work on that. Beautiful. Working our way through these other fleets. We've got the Forfan Starfleet, which we're not building. The Ready Swarm does have a lot of Corvettes queued up at this point. So it looks like the Ready Swarm is where our fleets are going, or rather our alloys are going at this moment. So we're actually through quite a bit of this list. That's good. We're going to continue to work our way through that. And we just can't attack here for the moment. Cool. So now that I know that, we have a long ways to go on the rigged and preservative swarms, right? The ready swarm actually has a lot of this ready to go. It's, I think, done with its corvettes and working on its destroyers at this point. Cool. We'll continue to put forces into the ready swarm here. The battleships are going to be the big ones, right? But we have two of the four cruisers queued up now. I think that the ready swarm is going to be pretty good to go soon. I'm noting this down over here. And I'm wondering if that 87k is moving. It is not at the moment. We're going to not move this direction. I want to definitely keep this system forbidden for the moment. We're going to come down this way and then no. Don't move through there. There we go. Just needed a ticket for that to update. I want them to go around. We do not want to attack here. But I wouldn't mind coming through and attacking this autonomous cluster. So we'll work on that for the moment. We'll continue Potential to put our resources, resources in here. We're getting about 2,600 alloys per month. So that looks solid. Any job work that needs to be done while we're waiting on that? The answer is no. Okay. I would like to do something about Polymar, but there really isn't anything while we need alloys for ships. Which is a little sad, to be sure. But there's just not anything to be done there for now. So we are preparing to head into Tabat. I want to be positioned here. I don't want to take the gateway. Actually, if we're going to take the hyper gateway, we should make sure that everyone is in position here. So is this all of our non-reinforcement fleets at this time? Yes. Okay, jump on through. We see them leaving this direction to go here. Noted. So we're going to come down over here. I want to see they're taking the hyper relay. Sure. Seems fine. So we're going to pop out here and we're going to fight them here. Ooh, they built that station immediately. That's sad. Competitors engaged. Okay, so in we go. We should be okay here. We're going to turn on our edicts though for sure. We want to lose as few ships as possible here. That would be nice. And in we go. Beautiful. So we're starting to chip through their shields. There's not that many of their ships, right? Their ships are powerful, but they're not very numerous, which is kind of the opposite to our ships. We've taken basically the completely opposite approach. Here. Engaged. Okay, we're through the shields on this station very quickly. They retreated. Beautiful. And the station is going to go down now. Cool. So we're going to pop up over here, and we're going to sit right there. We have about 4,000 alloys to toss in. 125k. That number is definitely fluctuating and inaccurate. But I think we're starting to get down to that being relatively accurate. Reason being, it only costs so much to replenish these fleets, right? But we also are going to have some losses that we took up this way. So that's all going to be required. 5.5k? Oh, are we short on Dark Matter yet? Yeah, we're short on Dark Matter. So we're going to turn off our edicts here. We do not need to be running these for now. There we go. 
and we are short on dark matter. We're going negative in our energy credits. That is because our naval cap is coming up, or rather our naval size is coming up. So that's fine. With us being short on dark matter, I'm gonna buy in 250 here and we'll hit that reinforced fleet button. That should keep us afloat for a good long time, in theory. Cool. So the rigged swarm, are you starting to get reinforcements now? Not yet. It's still going into the ready swarm and the higher up fleets here in terms of priority, right? Because it works from the top down is the way that that goes. So for the moment, that's okay. We've definitely increased our fleet size by a lot. Are we ready to attack here? No. If we assume each of these are 100,000, which they're not, then we have, what, seven fleets here? It's not quite enough. So I would really like to get the rigged swarm upgrading, or not not even upgrading, but actually building. Let's hit the reinforce all button. Are we working on the rigged swarm now? I didn't actually want that new fleet. Where was that new fleet at? This one, I think. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we don't want this new fleet. So let's get rid of that. The Preservative Swarm, the Rigged Swarm, that should do for now. We're going to probably want to increase our fleet, fleet size eventually, but for now, this will do. Okay, so that's all looking reasonably good. But I want the Rigged Swarm to be being worked on. So that means that the Ready Swarm 18 needs to be finished. Now we're working on the Rigged Swarm. Beautiful. So that's looking great. How's the price on alloys, anyway? Probably unaffordable. Yeah, 24. So nothing to be done there, really. But our reinforcements are continuing to come in to Tabat. Just constantly flowing in via these various routes. So that's looking good. Now all of their forces are back here. Where are they sending this army? Is that going to go flying directly into us? That's insane. Why would they do that? Like, we're sitting right on the other side of this jump point. They're going. They're going to die very quickly. We're literally right here. And here they come. Competitors engaged. And there they go. They are just instantly destroyed. I don't know why they thought that was a good idea. It absolutely was not. There was no scenario where that would have been good. 72,000. I really don't think that's accurate. It stayed on that tick. We still need we, we still need 600 in terms of our in terms of our dark matter. We don't have enough dark matter. Let's continue to reinforce here. The rigged swarm is going to be done fairly soon. I want to check in on the status over here. They're probably still bombarding this, if I had to guess. Oh, this is so much lag here. Yeah, they're still bombarding this. 23% devastation. Okay. That's going quite slowly. So I want to get the rigged swarm in over here. That's going to be relatively important now that reinforcements are starting to flow into the rigged swarm. I want to bring this in. And we're going to continue to reinforce this fleet. Cool. So we see night birth, ascensions, and we have a lot of stations working on this simultaneously right now. So the rigged swarm is going to have a lot more power by the time it gets here. Hello, that's a federation fleet. Are we no longer the Federation leader? Ah, the Tevadoran Corporation is the new president. Okay, that's fine. So we no longer control the Federation fleet. That does hurt us a little bit here, but it's not the end of the world by any means. Okay, I see this fleet out over here. So we're going to immediately make our way over to Hezar. We're going to look to fight them there. And in the meantime, we're just continuing to reinforce, right? We have definitely bumped up our naval capacity by a good amount here. The Rigged Swarm is, ooh, in exactly the wrong place right now. Exactly the wrong place right now. Please just leave if you can. That would be great.
15 more days? Oof. I don't know if they can get out in time. They did. Beautiful. So we don't have to worry about that, right? But we do need to come around over this way. That'll take us a little bit of time to get there. But will these guys actually lose here? Maybe. They, they only have seven ships. They're powerful ships. But they only have seven ships. We'll see how this goes. And they're pumping ships out of their mega shipyard. Let's continue to reinforce our fleets for the time being. And we're certainly going to make our way in here as soon as possible, which will be quite soon. We'll reinforce this very shortly. So I don't think they're going to take down this station in time before we get here. Here we are. Beautiful. Competitors engaged. And now we've engaged. Excellent. They've actually retreated. So that's good. I want to grab these guys up here. And we want to group up right here. We're continuing to reinforce our fleets here. Just slowly working our way through this. I don't think we're down into the preservative swarm yet. No, we're still working on our strong class corvettes here. Although now we're going into the firm class corvettes. Good. That's looking solid. So these guys are going to make their way over as well. They are currently at 51.6k. So do we think we're strong enough to attack? I don't know. I... It's dicey. Figure 700k there. Plus an additional 100, plus an additional 100. So figure 900,000, right? And we've got seven fleets here. All sitting at around 100, 150,000. It's very, very dicey. We can continue to reinforce our fleets, absolutely. These guys want to change to medium fleet contribution. I'm actually okay with that. Do it. That takes a more of the pressure off of us for maintaining our fleets, and that's good. We want that. Ah, what is this? They are attacking here with a 50k Federation fleet that is not smart. I don't know why they've done this. But that was very dumb. They got eliminated incredibly quickly. Cool. We're still reinforcing our fleets here. I'm wondering if these guys are planning on coming in and attacking here. Like, down in the Jaundice, they're still bombarding here with way too many units, right? 32%. Yeah, that's way too many units. We're going to reinforce our fleets again. I'm considering launching an attack. At the very least, we'll heavily damage them, right? Research actualized. Kinetic weapon fire rate is nice. That's for sure. We're certainly seeing our energy credits decline a lot, and that's not super shocking. We've got this unification center here. And I feel like building an energy grid here makes sense. So we'll do that for now. Anything else to work on jobs-wise? No. Okay. We're really, really close, I feel, to being able to attack here. If these guys were to come in and to attack with us, I think we could do it, for sure. But on our own, it's very risky. So for the moment, we're going to hold off on it. But very, very soon, we're going to be attacking there and taking out this hub world. That'll be absolutely great. It is about time to put a cut in here. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And next episode, we're going to have this fully reinforced on up. 
and that will be absolutely great. You can leave your offerings to the engagement gods in the form of likes, comments, subscribes, and bell ringings, and a very special thank you to all of the channel members for making this video possible, including ALS Gamer, Atala, Shadow Wolf, Emlohan80, Rogue Corbett, Kintogan, Andy Magar, Spartan News, Nix Marty, Dimitri H, Punching the Microphone, Soccerband12UK, and all the rest. And of course, you. Thank you for watching. If you'd like to support the channel, you can click the join button down below the video, and as always, I will see you all next time.